So hop is. <laughs> It's, you, it's you not know, going to be good, is it? We can just tell from the gaps. And you the don't pauses. know. Oh, I do. So I Easter, do. Right, Easter is upon us, OK? No, so it's not a seasonal Easter movie, is it? It's, yeah. It's, well, here's the funny thing, right? It's an Easter bunny movie, All right, right? OK. Now, the Easter bunny is an American idea, right? Rather than an English... Have you ever, have you ever listened to the Bill Hicks uh, CD, um, uh, Philosophy? Which no. is good, right? I love Bill Hicks, fantastic. And Bill Hicks does this wonderful thing about I've read the Bible and I can't find any mention of the word bunnies in it anywhere. Have you all got a different version to the one I have? And then he goes off in this thing about look, if you're going to make up a story, why not just go completely mad? Why not go, you know, oh, a, a, a goldfish left a Lincoln log in my sock drawer? Because that's that's absurd. So the story here is the Easter bunny, which is a very big thing, but over here, I'm not sure the Easter bunny has quite the same currency. The Easter bunny is outliving his Easter bunniness. And he has a son who doesn't want to be the Easter Bunny. He wants to be a drummer in a rock band. OK, but he has so to take a true a, story. It is a true story. Yeah. It's, I think Werner Herzog has done it as a documentary first. So he wants the, 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 the other. The bunny doesn't want to be the Easter Bunny. He wants to be the drummer in a rock band. So on the eve of him taking over the reign of Easter Bunniness, he escapes and goes to the real world. Uh, well, the, the live action world as opposed to the Easter Bunny world at Easter Island. Uh, and he's voiced by Russell Brand. Here's a clip. Fred, mate, I'll behave. I'll clean up my mess. I'll, I'll do the dishes. Not your problem. There's no dishes in the wild. No, Fred, but I'm special. Well, we're all special. Ah, you're not getting it. I mean, I'm really special. What are you doing? See? Jelly beans? Mm-hmm. So what? So you talk and you poop candy. Would you do it in someone else's life? No, you're right. It's, it's not your concern. And in two weeks, maybe you can explain to the children of the world why they didn't get their Easter baskets. Easter. Oh, yes, Fred. I am the Easter bunny. Hop in. Ha-ha. Uh, in case... Ha-ha, ho-ho, and indeed, he-he. In case you didn't understand it from that... The, just the sound of it... The gag there is that the Easter Bunny poops jelly beans. Right. That's good. Okay. So the thing that this reminded me of most is remember that Tim Allen film, The Santa Claus, when yeah. Father Christmas, Santa Claus, um, is coming to the end of his reign, and Tim Allen knocks him off a roof, and then Tim Allen has to become Father Christmas. Remember that? And he described it as a uh, miracle on Thirty Fourth Street st uh, meets The Fly because he transformed it. Well, in the story here is there's a human being who's not very much sort of liked by his family because he's a bit of a wastrel, and there's a bunny who doesn't want to be the Easter bunny, he wants to be a rock drummer. And they get together and they decide that, in fact, maybe the human, be maybe the human being should get a job being the Easter bunny. And, and you're going, yeah, what? No. Um, uh, and then what? And it's it's really really peculiar because I, actually I think the Russell Brand is very funny. I mean I've been many I'm quite looking forward to the remake of Arthur, you know, which is him and Helen Mirren, which looks. I'm mean, you're looking forward to the remake of Superman. Not really. Zack Snyder. Zack Snyder. Well, you said be, you wouldn't do that. But it, okay, fine. But you brought it up, not me. I went into this thinking, uh, okay, fine, Russell Brand, whatever happens, you know, I know he's, this, is, this is kind of Alvin and the Chipmunks doing that. And I actually, I laughed a couple of times at Alvin and the Chipmunks and indeed at Alvin and the Chipmunks too, which I, you know, which I saw in a very nice cinema. Stole my child to go there. I stole your child to go and see Alvin and the Chipmunks too. Somebody else wrote a thing called Killing Bono. I was Bono's doppelganger. I wrote, I stole Simon Mayer's child as an excuse to go and see Alvin and the Chipmunks too. But you know what? All the way through this, none of those laughs that were there for Alvin and the Chipmunks, none of that happened. None of it whatsoever.